Using the program we covered in the last video will help you to build some strength, but this is not the best option for gaining lots of muscle quickly. Instead, you need to focus on a routine that will create micro tears in the muscle and help to encourage the buildup of metabolites. This is where it becomes useful to use some of those more old fashioned exercises that lets you focus on one muscle group. Why? Because this way you can keep going until that specific muscle fails. With a bicep curl, for instance, you're not going to get tired and you're not going to lose form until the bicep is so full of blood and growth hormone and lactic acid that it hurts. This lets you tear muscle fibers, in turn leading to growth overnight. Some bodybuilders will do this by focusing on a single muscle group per day, but that takes a lot more time and effort than most of us have and it's not terribly functional. Instead, we're going to use something called PPL, and this stands for Push Pull Legs. That means one day for all pushing movements, one day for all pulling, and one day for the legs, as the name implies. This makes a lot of sense because a pushing movement like the chest press will use a lot of the same muscles which tend not to be used in the pulling movement like a pull-up. Pull-ups use lats, biceps and abs, while presses use pecs, triceps and traps. You have the list of exercises in the earlier video showing you how to use your kettlebell for all of the most popular regular movements. We're going to group these based on targeted muscle and perform three workouts a week. What's more, we're going to start each workout with a couple of compound full body movements. This will generate better strength by forcing us to use muscle mass in unison and it will also help us to produce more growth hormone and testosterone. Ultimately, all this will mean more growth and strength. Then we're going to follow each session with lots of protein, lots of calories and lots of sleep. Sleep is when we grow. The leg day is when we're going to do a lot of this. OK, let's start with push. The push workout will consist of 3 times 10 kettlebell clean and press, 3 times 10 kettlebell shoulder press, 3 times 10 kettlebell fly, 3 times 20 press ups, 3 times 10 kettlebell kickbacks, 3 times 10 kettlebell tricep extensions. For pull, we're going to do 3 times 20 kettlebell swings, 3 times 10 kettlebell upward row. 3 times 10 kettlebell curls, 3 times 10 kettlebell bent over row, 3 times 10 kettlebell pullovers, 3 times 10 pull ups, 3 times 10 kettlebell crunches. And finally, for the legs, we're going to do 3 sessions of 10 kettlebell clean and press, 3 times 10 kettlebell lunge press, 3 times 10 kettlebell deadlifts. 3 times 10 goblet squats and 3 times 20 bell swings. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.